So before we go any further, one of the things that I hope that you're wondering is, should we really be having just a playlist model and not a model for each one of these movies, TV shows, seasons, like have their own separate models? And the reason I'm actually keeping it just as a playlist has to do more with the core of what our project intends to do, which is displaying videos. Realistically, a playlist itself is just a collection of videos. Now it can be a collection with one video or thousands of videos. And how we actually make this collection is fairly arbitrary. And so I actually think of movies, TV shows, all of these things as just different labels for this collection or this playlist of videos. Because the core is about the video itself. It's not about all of these different things. So you could say though, that it would be a good idea to have these separate to simplify how I name things and not have a need for actually, actually having proxy models. And you could totally do it that way, but I'm not doing it that way for the reason that I wanna think of these more in terms of a label and really focus on the videos themselves. Now, this also helps me with analytics down the line of actually tracking which videos are being watched, how much they're being watched, but it also helps me by adding additional types of media. Let's say for instance, I wanna have courses in the future, right? That is another collection of videos. What if I wanted to have a podcast, like video podcast or audio podcast? That is just another type of playlist of media items. Now, the media items, perhaps we would actually want to change this from being called video to being called media, but I'm just gonna leave it as video because we're not really going the direction of podcasts and courses. We're really just keeping this in as movies, TV shows, seasons, and feature playlists. So that is kind of the gist as to why I'm naming it this way and not having a bunch of different models uh, that we would end up having. So this also simplifies testing for me as well, because now we just need to verify that this playlist model works as intended and then the labels work as intended as well. Now I'm actually not gonna call these labels. Instead, what I'm gonna call them is a type and we're gonna give it a char field and we'll give it a max length of, well, we only have four different labels that we're probably gonna use, uh, but I'm gonna give it a max length of three and I wanna add in some choices. So yet again, I'm gonna be using the choices in a very similar fashion that we did before with the publish model of you know the state options much like this. So you could totally copy this if you want. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new one. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say playlist type choices. And this is going to be models.text choices. Okay, so again, just like what we had over here. Now what I'm gonna do is say movie equals to MOV, or capital MOV rather, and then comma, and then movie, and then TV show, or let's just call it show. And it's gonna be TV S and TV show. And then season being season or C. And then playlist, just simply a playlist of playlists. And this time I'll just call it PLY and playlist. Okay, so those are my now type choices. And in here, I'll give that in there. And then the default, in my case, I'm gonna default to being calling this just the playlist itself. So playlist type choices dot playlist. Okay, cool. Um, so one of the things about this that is really nice now, now that I'm gonna have this, is I can actually add in my proxy manager, I will be able to use those choices. Um, but what I wanna do then, is, since I'm gonna be using those choices and I can use it based off of the playlist itself, um, or I could actually just pull out these choices. So it's kind of up to you if you wanna just call it um, something like type equals to the playlist dot playlist type choices dot, and this is gonna be, the first one is our TV show proxy manager, which will be show. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this same thing into my season. And this just being 
season, which is what we declared it. Okay, so now that we've got those things, let's go ahead and run python manage.py make migrations. And I got a iterable problem. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so pay playlist type choices should be dot choices. Okay, let's try that again. Make migrations and then python manage.py migrate and python manage.py and test. Okay, so no test errors. We didn't create tests for these choices. We probably should, but for now we're gonna leave it just like that. And then uh, let's go jump back into the admin. And again, notice the proxy is still the same exact proxy because I overrode the original all method there. Um, and then the playlist admin proxy, we probably wanna change this one to being just playlist. So define git query set, and this is gonna return playlist dot objects dot filter. And now the type will be playlist and playlist type choices dot playlist. Okay, so that's just the default that we're going off of. Uh, granted, we might wanna change that playlist admin to being something different, like featured playlist and do a featured proxy, uh, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. So let's go ahead and run python manage.py run server. Let's take a look in the admin. Oh, I already have this running on another terminal. And now if I go to TV shows, I should see TV shows, but unfortunately I do not because inside a playlist, this should actually have all of my different things. Oops, I made a mistake on get query set. This also takes in request here, which I think I did on the other ones. Yes, okay, cool. So uh, now I see that these are the invalid types, right? So if I go into office, uh, I see it says type of playlist, of course it's not. Now it's just type of TV show. And we hit save. Ah, and I got another error on this. Um, so no big deal. Come back into our models. And the thing that I don't need to have as required is this parent here. So I'm gonna allow blank being true and put a comma there and then run our migrations again. So python manage.py make migrations, python manage.py migrate, python manage.py test, all of the fun stuff. Okay, looking good. Now let's run the server again, press up several times, refresh in here, hit continue it goes away. Okay, so season two, let's turn that back into being a season. And season. Okay, great. So now we've got our TV shows in here. Um, so one of the challenges right here is when I actually go to change this to being season three, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, go back in here hey, what do you know, season three is still showing up here. Um, so part of the reason for that is not based off of the type it is, because if we actually go back into our playlists, I now see season three is in here. This should actually stay in as a different type. Um, so part of this is actually how the admin works, not necessarily how um, we set it up, right? It's just really the admin's gonna default to various things. What we want it to do is just override how it's being saved depending on what it is. Um, so that's something that I'll do in the next one. But for now, we've had that discussion of the various types that we should be using uh, and maybe why we wouldn't want to. But more importantly, we actually have these types separated now so that in the admin and also what our users will end up seeing is gonna be based off of what these types are.